good afternoon to everybody. I'm Fabio Gerbino, responsible for calculation department of vehicle dynamics in Maserati. As uh, many people know, uh, at the end of the 2K19, uh, we complete uh, uh, and inaugurate our uh, innovation lab, Maserati Innovation Lab. In, uh, in, in, we, in these facilities, uh, we are uh, uh, developed uh, our new cars and we um, uh, performed a lot of uh, cutting edge uh, uh, in terms of techno technological point of view activities uh, and uh, we have the possibility to uh, make these activities uh, uh, with uh, our uh, simulators department. In Innovation Lab we have uh, uh, from September of 2019 uh, the DIM 250 but also from uh, 2K14 we have also a static simulator and the compact simulator for HMI activities. Next slide, please. Uh, the the uh, DIM 250 is uh, in charge to vehicle dynamics department and the, the, the main activities that we follow are um, practically at uh, least by this, uh, this slide. We perform uh, uh, handling and comfort activities, but we are very focused also in tires development and we have the possibility to increase the fidelity and the complexity of the model using our heels in terms of complexity. The heels are, for example, have low complexity, for example, how the heel of the shock absorber, a medium high complexity of a steer, uh, steering heel test bench, and an high and advanced hardware in the loop uh, bench test, uh, as you can see in the below uh, figure of the slide, the connection of the DIM 250 with uh, our uh, physical dyno test bench in two different facilities, uh, farthest uh, one between another by 10 kilometers. We have the possibility in this way to simulate, to replicate the uh, real behavior of the engine with uh, um, with the, the connection to the to the DIM. Next slide, please. But uh, at the moment, uh, as uh, as you as we know, uh, the the development of the cars become more and more challenge and more and more short. And for, um, at the, at the same time, we have the. Uh, the, we have the uh, necessity to develop the cars uh, in, the, in a timing shorter as possible and uh, at the same time our management requires uh, target high, um, uh, um, as high as possible. For example, uh, in the previous approach we developed a car in three, uh, three and a half years, now we have to de develop a car uh, uh, below uh, in time uh, below uh, lower than uh, than two years. For this reason, the only way to increase the the fidelity of the development is uh, um, the only way is to uh, have a, a, an higher number of uh, virtual tests. In the past, we perform uh, twenty percent uh, and the, of the um, of the um, physical uh, of the um, deliberate process of our cars in virtual way. Now we have to increase this percentage up to uh, 70%. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, and for this reason, we have to develop our cars uh, as much as possible in virtual way. Here we can see a, a typical approach of virtual vehicle dynamics. Uh, here we define 100% uh, the suspension kinematic behavior and the, 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 secondary, uh, the secondary ride in terms of bushing stiffness. But also we have the necessity of the thirds, the primary ride in terms of spring dampers and anti-roll bars. And of course, uh, the, uh, the, very, the, very crucial, uh, the very crucial point of, in terms of vehicle dynamics development is the, the tires development. In the last years, uh, we have to increase the knowledge of our virtual development, uh, um, working together to uh, tire manufacturer and, uh, tire manufacturer and the advanced laboratory uh, of, uh, in terms of uh, tires engineering like Megaride. Next slide, please. 
In fact, a, a typical approach that we follow in this, uh, in this study is to increase the, um, the fidelity of the tires in terms of uh, virtual development in order to amplify the range that we want to uh, investigate. We know that Megaride is able to provide to us uh, a tool that permits uh, to have not a standard MF tire, but an MF tire that takes into account the thermal behavior of the tires. For this reason, we uh, develop, uh, develop our uh, vehicle target setting process coming from the, uh, the benchmark. We define a, a quality profile score, a score in terms of uh, a SAA scale uh, scores. And after that, we deploy the target to the tires, not only in terms of uh, classic uh, vehicle dynamics point of view, uh, of course, side slip angle, progression, uh, under steer grinding and so on. But we want to uh, give to our uh, partner very, challenge, uh, very challenging targets in terms of uh, thermal, uh, thermal uh, behavior of the tires and wear and degradation. For this reason, we worked together to Megaride in order to develop uh, a, virtual, uh, a virtual workflow that take into account also uh, Megaride tools. Please, Fla uh, Flavio. Okay, uh, thank you, Fabio. Just a few words about uh, Megaride project. So we are a startup company. We, we were born about four years ago as a spin-off company of the Vehicle Tsunami Group of University Federico II. Uh, we mainly develop technologies and models for the analysis and the optimization of vehicle performance with particular reference to tire physical modeling. And such, such technologies were awarded as Tire Technology of the Year at Tire Technology Expo 2018 and as Development Tool of the Year at uh, the Vehicle Dynamics International Award in uh, 2019. Uh, the significant applications realized in partnership with the uh, relevant automotive companies uh, and motorsport teams allowed to our team and revenues to grow fast and to, uh, and to go on uh, increasing in team resources and in revenues uh, income. As concerns the interaction with uh, Maserati, we met for the first time at uh, Maserati Live Innovation Startup Program in more than a few years ago. After that, we started with our research project and with the PhD path that we co-developed in Naples and in Modena. Thanks to the support of the Tire Lab at university, we have the possibility to have the facility that allows to carry out experimental activities to physically feed the, thermal mo the physical models we develop. Uh, Let's go a bit deeper in, uh, in what we want to present today. Uh, we all know how complex is facing tires, modeling and characterizations. And I think a nice quote by Henry Louis Mencken says that for every complex problem, there's a solution that is clear, simple and wrong. In our modeling approach, tires and vehicles need to be analyzed and integrated accounting for the mutually interacting physical phenomena that arise at road contact. So our main target is in this way analyzing, understanding and reproducing the complexity of time multiphysical phenomena by means of a multiphysical platform that can enhance the level of reliability of vehicle simulations and of the driving simulation experience, of course. In the last years, we developed uh, several physical module, modules uh, now that cooperate in a modular platform that allows a holistic view of tire behavior interacting with ex experimental data and models in the loop hardware in the um, in the model in the loop hardware in the loop and driver in the loop context in this way we are able to go on board of the driving of the dim the dim model at maserati live uh, innovation lab in order to have a, mu a modular platform that we have called in this way and we launched today as radsuit RideSuit is a multi-physical platform that has inside several different modules and several different physical models because it has a right advanced Pacheca model that we choose because Pacheca model is very used in the automotive sector and is really compliant to many structures, is very compliant to hard real-time applications on which we work. Inside it has also a physical wear energy-based module that is called WearRide. Inside it has also a thermal model that is called Thermoride, 
And finally, we have a multi-contact uh, footprint module that allows to enhance the level of the reliability of the, of the, co of the local contact forces that arise at the interaction between the virtual tires and the virtual load uh, road during a physical simulation driving experience. Of course, each model can work as a desktop offline tool, as, as, a, as a logic inside the Mark's performance logics, and as a real-time solution in driver in the loop sessions. Now, uh, we can go a bit deeper inside what we are going to present you today. So the roadmap of the project we carried out together uh, has at the first stage, the parameterization of the target vehicle. After that, we tested the tires at, at uh, University of Naples Tire Lab in order to parameterize the data, the, the tires. After that, we performed the outdoor testing session. And after that, we uh, calibrated physical model in order to implement them on board of the Maserati Innovation Lab. First step was the development, the, the selection of the, of the vehicle. It was a Maserati prototype vehicle. It's a real wheel drive vehicle. At the first stage, we had the target to parameterize from the physical point of view all the data that concerned with the, the, the vehicle itself and that allowed to our physical instrument to, to analyze properly the performance of the tire and of the vehicle itself for the next stages. F second phase was the parameterization of the thermal model. At our lab, we have the possibility to have the facility that allows us to characterize tires in three different ways from the footprint point of view, because of course, footprints are fundamental in order to understand the exchange of uh, energies the, that the tire and the vehicle exchange with the external environment. The second step is concerning the structural behavior. And so the analysis and the estimation of the strain energy loss phenomena due to the hysteretical behavior of the viscoelasticity of the thread uh, layer and of the carcass dissipations. And after that, we have the possibility to parameterize properly the thermal diffusivity and contact and the specific heat of each different layer that, that constitutes the, the tire. Because of course, we have the necessity to know with very high precision, which ones are the thermodynamic parameters of each different material that constitutes the tire. Because of course, it's a multi-physical platform and it needs to be deeply known in order to understand everything. We have developed in the last year, this physical thermal model that has up to six uh, different layers in radial direction, up to 15 different ribs along the radial direction because we work a lot also with motorcycles and of course with the high inclination angle, it's fundamental to have this information. And all this stuff works and runs in real time because it works both as, a, as an analysis tool and a real, a real time uh, model that works on real time simulators. After that, finally, the choose of the reference track, we went to Nardo and we worked together with Nardo Technical Center in order to develop some specific maneuvers and routines that allowed to uh, exert in the widest possible working range conditions the tire because we wanted to analyze the pure, the pure interaction both longitudinal and lateral. After that, the combined but all of that at different thermal ranges, because of course, basing on thermal approach, we need to know what concerns the interaction of the vehicle with the ground at different layers, because we want to, uh, to model the physical reality in the, in the widest possible thermal range. Uh, after that, we probably instrumented the vehicle. So with the CAN bus reader, with inertial platform, with optical side slip sensor, but in particular with very specific uh, thermal equipment that allowed us to get information on the inflation chamber state in the liner and external surface with local infrared sensors. After that, I leave the virtual microphone to Fabio. Okay, thank you, Flavio. Now we can switch in order uh, uh, to the to this slide in order to see the results of the um, cooperation between Megarid and Maserati in order to develop uh, a multi-physic uh, uh, tire uh, models that involve the project uh, previous uh, uh, cycle. Um, as you can see in this slide, uh, we see that uh, in experimental way, we uh, for the for the classic graph of vehicle dynamics, we see that uh, of course, uh, as uh, as we know, 
the, um, the tire behavior change the vehicle dynamics uh, performances, change the, change the balance between uh, front and rear axle, and also change the grip and the maximum lateral acceleration. If we, if we use a, a standard Paseca model, a standard MF tire model, or a, or a tire, a standard tire that not taking into account the thermal effect, we are we have to we have we have uh, not uh, the possibility to cover uh, uh, the the wide range because we have to, choose, uh, to uh, we have the possibility or to uh, or to um, fix the uh, the best achievable uh, performance on the optimal range or to or to um, taking into account the cold or the hot behavior of the tire. Instead, uh, with the multi-physics tires, uh, with the multi-physics tires model, we have the possibility to cover all the range in optimal, in cold, and in hot uh, thermal uh, condition. As we can see, uh, with the thermo off, uh, we have a reference in terms of a slope of the um, of the of the axle and uh, with the term off we have a reference instead with the cold tire we have an, inc an, inc an increment of uh, 60 to percent and without tires a, a decrement of the cor of the coronary stiffness about the 40 percent so the the variation for this type of tires is uh, quite uh, quite big and uh, with these uh, uh, models we have the possibility to uh, to run in, uh, in all the configuration, in all the thermal configuration. Uh, next slide, please, Flavio. Okay. Uh, this, this is an interesting uh, point of view in terms of our objective maneuvers because, uh, uh, as we can see, um, the, the slow ramp steer and the, the frequency response, uh, the random steering input, uh, excite in different way the, uh, the tires because uh, Practically, the frequency response don't change the thermodynamic behavior of the tires. Instead, the, the slow ramp steer permits to have a ramp up of the, of the temperature uh, on the surface, uh, but also a little bit also on the core. This is the, the, the reason why we see all these, um, a big modification on the, uh, of the car balance on the, on the slow ramp steer, on the understeering gradient graph. Next slide, please, Flavio. Okay. For this, um, also we have the, uh, with Megarity the possibility to look forward to other, uh, to other features that we want to add to our multi-physics uh, tires approach. And for this reason, we work together to Megarity in a PhD program in order to estimate with a few parameters uh, live but also in post-process, the uh, relaxation length of the tires in order to estimate as better as possible the delay of the front and the delay of the rear axles. Um, please, uh, and uh, practically uh, at the end of the objective uh, uh, data analysis, we can see that we don't have a big variation in terms of uh, um, fre frequency response in terms of transfer function of the vehicle and this is uh, explained by uh, the previous slide when we can see that the thermal uh, the, the, the maneuvers don't stress, don't excite the thermal uh, range of the tires, don't change so much the thermodynamic status of the tires. Uh, at, the, um, at, the, at the end of this, this discussion, we made the final calibration of the, of the tires in order to have a, a real-time model that is able to, uh, to run on the track. Here we can see the uh, validation of the thermodynamic status of the tires, um, look, taking, into, taking into account the data coming from the experimental session that we follow together with Flavio and Flavio explained before. Here we can see the, the good correlation in terms of surface, surface, but also in terms of inner status of the tires. And this is a good uh, point, of, point of view in terms of correlation because uh, if we have a good validation of the external behavior, but also of the internal, we can replicate as better as possible 
the, the pressure variation and also we have an high fidelity of the changing of the thermodynamic status of the tires and of the handling performance of the, uh, of the vehicle. At the end of this, uh, of this study, uh, we can see, of course, the, the results. Uh, here we can see also the, the, um, the, the grip uh, graph versus temperature, when we can uh, locus the optimal grip range, and also a very good correlation in terms of comparison between simulation, simulated lateral grip with respect to experimental one. At the end of this activity, we test uh, uh, these models uh, with the, the, the virtual tires on our driving simulator in order to add a very important information for Maserati point of view uh, for development uh, of the car, uh, the driver feedback. Because uh, if we have to match, we have to close the circle with the, our drivers, uh, with our driver uh, feedback. And we, we saw that uh, with this multiphysic approach, the, um, the driver is able to understand the level of grip of the tires. The changing starts from cold to uh, becoming hot, uh, the condition of the tires. Instead, with thermo off condition, we have practically the, um, we, are, we align practically the, the performance to the best optimal range, but we, can, we cannot see the decay of the tires and uh, uh, the driver perceive uh, very good the decay of the tires due to thermal behavior, especially on the rear mm -hmm. when, we, uh, when we see the over snap oversteer during power on condition. Please, La Flavio, I leave the word to you. Okay, thank you. So uh, now I can start the video. I hope you see it well. In this video, we reported the results of a run that has been performed with the DIM on the virtual Fiorano track after that the model were properly calibrated and validated. On the top left of the, um, of the section, uh, we, we see the front left tire in which each different layer changes in real time its temperature due to the interaction with the external environment and with the adjacent layers. In the bottom of the, of the plot, we see the four tires that move and change their colors with reference to the inclination angle and the steering angle and temperature. We think that the most important point regarding the, the constant availability of the thread core and tire carcass temperature that cannot be measurable outdoor and, uh, and in, normal, uh, in normal situations is that they are deeply correlated with the grip and stiffness phenomena that, reproduced, that can be reproduced by the ad -ride model and that Fabio showed in the previous slides. In the last plots in the bottom, we can see the differences between the lateral forces reproduced by a drive and the ones coming from a standard Pacheca. And it allows to, uh, to highlight again how the tire is a multi-physical multi system and has to be treated in this way in order to optimize its own performance. Sorry, okay. Then finally, in this last uh, slide, we can see what happened when, when we simulated three different warm-up laps. We started with very cold tires and after three laps, more or less the, the average temperature of the thread core and thread base layer went more or less close to the optimal working range temperature. In this way, we were, we were able to study the optimization of the warm-up phase. And of course, as you, as you can also see from the data that come from the lap times or the minimum and the maximum longitudinal and lateral acceleration, we were able to understand which, which uh, starting conditions, which vehicle setup and which tire setup conditions allowed us to performance and optimize the tire performance from the, the global view that, that relates to tire global behavior. Of course, all this stuff in this case have been studied related to a brand new fresh tire, but we are able to get also inside the model all the variability linked to wear and degradation uh, phenomena and that in this way affect all these phenomena as we saw last week with the with the webinar that we had with Via Great online. After that, we would like to thank a lot Maserati for its uh, cooperation and all the guys, all the young guys from our research group and working group that worked a lot in these last days to perform proper simulations and to allow us to be here with a, with a, with a presentation we hope you, you liked. Thank you.